we're going to try another long division calculation. So we're going to write that number as normal in the box, 4619, divided by 31. Because we're using the long division method, I'm just going to write down those letters to remind me, does McDonald's sell burgers? And that's just going to remind me the order I need to do things if I get stuck. I should be dividing and then multiplying, subtracting and bringing down. And I keep repeating that till I get to the end of the calculation. So, to start off, I have, well, I can see I can't divide 4 by 31, so I'm going to just put that 0 in. 4 can't be divided by 31, it's too small, there would be 0. So I'm going to look at these two digits and say 46 divided by 31. Well, I'm pretty certain that's 1, but I don't actually know my 31 times table. And the trickiest part of long division is in calculating these multiples of 31. So the easiest way to do that is to just write them down. So 31, so the next one would be 31, add another 31, 62. So I can say, yeah, 46 divided by 31 is only 1. So there's my division. I've done the division part. What do I do next? I multiply. So 1 times 31, multiply, or look at the multiple, and it was this multiple, 31. That was the one we got to, so I write that underneath so that I can do done my multiple. A subtraction. So 6 subtract 1 is 5. And then 4 subtract 3 is 1. That's my subtraction done. And B, bring down. So the next digit, I'm going to bring all the way down and put this one down here. OK, so I've completed one lot of this cycle. So every time we look at a digit, we're working our way down. And now I'm going to go back to the top again. So I've got to divide. Now I've got to remember the number that I'm starting with is down here now, not up at the top. It's down here. I brought this digit down. And I've got 151 divided by 31. OK, I need to keep my multiples of 31 going. So each time I'm just going to add on an extra 31. So 62, if I add on 31, I would have 3 and I would have nine tens instead of six tens. And I can start to see a pattern now. Sometimes looking at the pattern in the multiples can really help. I can see that because I've got 31, every time I add 31 on, my units increases by one and my tens increases by three. So that's going to help me to just check I don't go wrong. It's very easy to make a mistake calculating the multiples. I need to keep going, I need to get to 151. So my next multiple would be, keeping that pattern going, if I add on 30, 3 tens, I would get 12 tens, 120, and my units has gone up by 1. And I still need to keep going, so I'm going to add on another 3 tens, so I'm going to have 150, and another one. So I can see now I've gone too far. I've got 151, so I can't go this far. I need to stop before I get there. I've not got enough to make 155, so I'm going to stop at this multiple, 124. So I'm going to tick off. I've done the division. 151 divided by 31 is 1, 2, 3, 
four multiples. I did that four times. So I write that in. You must remember to write it in. It's easy to forget sometimes. Now I move on to M. That's for multiply. multiply. I'm going to give it a tick. So I'm doing that now. And I'm writing down 4 times 31 was 124. It's this multiple that I stopped on. So I write that multiple in 124. And I do the subtraction. 1 subtract 4, so just as in normal column subtraction. I can exchange that 10. 11 subtract 4 is 7. 4 subtract 2 is 2. And 1 subtract 1 is 0. I'm not going to write the 0 in. I know it's 0. don't want to confuse myself. So now I've done the subtraction. If I'm stuck, I look at this and see the B. Bring down. So I'm going to bring this 9 all the way down to here. So now I've got 279 divided by 31. So I need to keep going with my 31s. There are some quicker ways to get there if you're very good at calculating mentally, but if you're not sure, the easiest way is to just keep going with these multiples. So add on 31 each time. So 155, if I add on 31, add on three tens, I'd get 18 tens instead of 15 tens, and add on one unit, 186. Keep that going. So adding on another 30, I would get 200 and add on one, 17. And add on another 30, I would get 200 and 40. And then 8, because my units are still just going up by 1 each time. Add on another 30 to get 270. And then my 1 unit, 9. I've got exactly the multiple that I need here. So 279 divided by 31 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It was 9 lots of 31. And there is no remainder. I can see that they're the same. So I don't actually need to go through the next steps. I've done the division. There's nothing left. I have no more digits up here to worry about. So that is the end of my calculation. The answer is 149.